Hello, I'm Atuba Judge now. Thank God today is Friday. Praise God. Now, all week, you know, we've been on 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Wow, praise God. Well, I, I wanted to see how we can end 1 Corinthians chapter 2 yesterday, but I need to show you something uh, from the Amplified Version in these last two verses of 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And then we go into chapter 3. So are you ready? Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I ask that the heaven be opened over us. Bring the spirit of revelation and wisdom into our hearts, even right now. We receive everything that you have planned for today. And Lord, we receive our daily bread today, for you have given it to us. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Praise God. Now, I said I was going to show you something in the Amplified Version. Verse 15, 1 Corinthians chapter 2. But the spiritual man tries all things. He examines, investigates, inquires into, he questions and discerns all things. Yet is himself to be put on trial and judged by no man. He can read the meaning of everything, but no one can properly the sin or appraise or get an insight into him. Mm. Did you see that? Who is he talking about? The spiritual man. Now notice he just told you about the carnal man in, in verse 14. See? Now he's talking to you about the spiritual man. And he said the spiritual man, no one can understand him. Now why would no one understand the spiritual man? Because you would think he's going straight. And you can tell, okay, I can see the future. I can see where he's going. I can see where he will end. But suddenly, by the voice of the Lord, he turns right and gets into another. He said, I didn't know there was a road there. Yeah, because he couldn't see it. So you can't judge a spiritual man by what you see him do today. You'll be making a big mistake. That's what the scripture This scripture does is not saying, uh, you know, people you, people you exploit scriptures and do all sort of nonsense she say didn't you read that the spiritual man so don't judge your pastor anything you see your pastor do don't talk about if you see your pastor doing what is wrong he's doing what is wrong you call him out call him out doesn't mean go on social media and say see what my pastor did call him and say pastor i, I don't get please can you explain um, this thing that you just did because i have a problem understanding it and if he doesn't give you an intelligent answer, would have been intelligent answer, an answer that makes spiritual intelligent meaning. You know what I mean by that? If, he, if you don't get that from him, then you begin to consider and start praying about what to do next. See, it's for your life. You can't stay in the wrong environment. So if, if your church is doing something that you, you have a problem with, now, when I say you have a problem, I'm not saying you are religious and, and you are having a problem believing by faith what they are doing. I'm saying by the understanding of the scriptures, you know, and if your church or if your, your pastor, if someone who you look up to spiritually is doing something that is wrong, you question the person. Oh, very important. You ask questions because you want to learn. Please, why are we doing this? And no one should shut you up. No one should say, forget it. Uh, there are spiritual things you don't understand. Nobody should tell you that because they are, you no, know, when they, wait, that's insulting. They are insulting you. Praise God. They are insulting the Holy Ghost in you. I'm not, I'm not also saying you start querying everything. Eh, please, eh, eh, pastor should come and tell us what they are doing with the church money. <laughs> that's so stupid. <laughs> Praise God. That's none of your business in truth. Say, but the pastor is supposed to be accountable. Yes, he should be accountable to God. And but what, what, don't they tell, hey, the truth is your giving to that church or to that ministry should have been by the Spirit of God. So if the Spirit of God commands you to give to that place, you should know that he knows what they will do with it. And that's how we are accountable. See, and that, that's why also I, I don't fully support, you know, when, when a minister is going around soliciting for, for, for funds, carnally, you know what I mean by that. 
You are supposed to look up to the Lord and ask Him. And the Lord will tell you where the next money is coming from. That's what I do. And it's been working. Praise God. It's been working. If He's telling you to go meet somebody, then He's, he's commanded the person already concerning you. Where that thing is going to go. Now, in that way, you know you are accountable to him who has given the money to you. But when people begin to think we are the sponsors of this church, we are the ones holding this ministry, that is error going somewhere to happen because those people will destroy their lives. I'm telling you the truth. So, so don't, don't, don't judge physical wrong that people are doing and use the scripture and say, the spiritual man, nobody can understand him. That's why everywhere you go, you must be sure. You see, you take responsibility for your own life first, not another person. You be sure that where you are, you were commanded by the Spirit of God to be in that place. You be sure that your givings, your tithing, your, your, your offerings, you be sure that you're, you're commanded by the Spirit of God to do those things and to give it where He's commanding you to give. And then you go out, you sleep, you sleep where you be at rest. Praise God. So, so, no, 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 when you, 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 you find out your pastor is committing adultery, and I say, ah, pastor, I say, no, no, the natural man, you don't understand him. Sir, <laughs> praise God. No, I need some good explanation to this. And if you don't get it, Father, am I supposed to be here in the first place? Or what kind of prayer point should we pray right now? <laughs> you know, I'm telling you the truth. That should be your concern. But not going, not, don't join people speaking against pastors. No, it's a personal thing. If, if he's not a blessing to you, then forget about him. No, we, not, we need to call out some of these pastors. You call them out, there is nothing. Even if they are wrong or false pastors or false prophets, even if you call them out from today to, to, to from to, till now till whenever, Nothing is going to happen. He said, why are you talking like this? Yeah, because Jesus has already told us about them. <laughs> Praise God. He said, God's wisdom concerning them is this. Leave them till the time of the harvest. <laughs> now, this, this may not, you may not like this, but that's the wisdom of God. Leave them till the time of the harvest. But they are committing, they are, they are causing a lot of havoc to who? You see, they can only destroy the lives of those who are not connected to God. So, the lives that they are destroying, this may be hard to some of you, but I'm telling you the truth. You take responsibility to be sure that you are in God and you are walking by the leading of the Spirit of God. You take responsibility to yourself that every step, every action you take, the Spirit of God guided you. And that's why the Bible says, in all your ways, acknowledge Him. And He was going to do what? Direct your path. Because someone say, oh, I was raped by my pastor. Yes, as bad as it is, as bad, as, as wicked as it sounds, the first thing you must ask yourself, how did I get there in the first place? Did the Spirit of God guide me there? So you, first of all, take responsibility. See, it, you know, sometimes we want to just be sensational. We just want to run with emotions. Is the pastor right to rape someone? No, but what if the pastor was the devil in the first place? So, so you just expect every evil to come out from him. Does that mean God did not guide you? No, you didn't listen for his guidance. You didn't listen. You say, eh, but how? When your pastor said, come on, come on. Nobody should force you to do what you're not supposed to do. Even if, okay, even if you found your way in that place and then events are playing and you realize, come, it seems something's going on. What did you do? Wasn't the Spirit of God there with you? Did you cry out to the Lord? Or did you just give up and say, ah, what do I do now? Is my pastor. You gave up. You doubted. That's why it happened to you. And I'll tell you this. The way to come out. You know some people have, have gone, gone to trauma. Because the first step to coming out of it is to own up. And yes, you made a mistake. 
by not listening to the voice of the Spirit. That's where your repentance starts from. And then when you start from there, you begin to follow the Lord's instruction. He brings you out of that situation. He makes something better out of your life. But when you now sit, you spend your whole life thinking of how that pastor is going to be dealt with, how that person is going to be, how God's going to punish that person, and every day you wake up, you pray against that person, you are spending the rest of your life in confusion, I'm telling you. And I'll tell you something. Most times, God's not going to even answer you. Because even right now, your heart, your prayer is not right. What did Jesus say? You, no, James said, you, you pray and you, you ask and you receive not. Why? Because you ask and miss. Because, so that you will consume it on your enemy. Now, your desire is to see this person fall. Your desire is to see this person destroyed. But that's not God's desire. So I tell people this. Is it not easier to put yourself in line with what God will willingly and freely do for you. Okay, you've been, you've been, you've been stolen, they've stolen from you, they've dealt with you, they've, they've, they've harmed you. Okay, what next? What can God make out of my life? So I hook up to him and he helps me, he takes me up, he climbs, he just lifts me. You know, God can raise you so high that even the people that hurt you will come and, and they will repent because of you. But when we all spend time in this darkness, trying to fight one another, God walks away because God doesn't dwell in the environment of strife. He doesn't. So step out of it. Cleanse your heart and let God repair your life. Let God restore to you what they have taken away from. He has the ability. Oh, Lord Jesus. You know, he... Ah. Don't say, I, I was a virgin. I was raped as a virgin. Hey, God can restore your virginity. Ah. <laughs> you didn't know. You don't know God. You don't know him. So put the past behind you. And hold on to him. And say, Lord. I'll follow every instruction you give me from now. It doesn't matter. This, it doesn't matter the pit that you find yourself in right now. First of all, take responsibility. That's the first step. Take responsibility. Don't blame another person for your errors. Don't blame another person for what they did to you. You say, I was innocent. I, yeah, I didn't listen to the voice of the Spirit. Or I didn't ask the Spirit of God. Oh, someone said, come and meet me at such a place. Do you pause and say, Lord, I don't know, I, I, what do you think about going to this place? Now, even if you don't hear God, the fact that you have acknowledged him, I will tell you what's going to happen. As you are about to step out, someone important is just going to show up. Say, ah, where are you going to? Say, I'm going to such a place. To do what? I'm going to see a friend. I, 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 hold on. I'm going to see a friend. There. A guy. Oh. Why? So, so, so. And the person says, come on, are you thinking at all? <laughs> are you thinking at all? He said, it's true. He knows how to save you from every evil. If you act, no, it's, it's as simple as, Lord, I, 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 this business, this person talked to me about, I'm thinking of, of what, what do you think about it? And you wait. If it doesn't push you in that direction, don't go. Sometimes he will give you dreams. He will give you visions. No matter how enticing it is, if you sense the Lord is telling you, don't go, don't go. Even if other people are making money, don't go. That's how to stay safe. I'm telling you, you can get to the, to the junction and something will just happen that will turn your attention away. God can do all these things. The problem is people don't acknowledge him in all their ways. So he's out of their lives. They do what they want to do, get into trouble. Now they're asking, where was God? He was there. You were not with him. I'm sorry if this offends you, but I have to tell you the truth. Get off of that situation. Repent. Turn to the Lord and let him make something beautiful out of your life. And let that start today. Listen, have a great weekend and the Lord bless you. Bye-bye.